A breakthrough in fish breeding by Korean researchers could lead to a major shakeup in the fish farming industry. Scientists have successfully bred a second generation of Pollock from fish that were themselves bred artificially. It could not only make fish cheaper, but help restore species at risk of dying out. Oh Jung-hee reports. Korea has become the first country in the world to successfully breed a second generation of Pollock from fish that were bred through artificial fertilization. Korea's fisheries ministry announced on Tuesday that some 40,000 Pollock were bred artificially from 200 fish that had themselves been bred artificially. The second generation fish have grown to around 0.7 centimeters, which is the size at which Pollock are essentially guaranteed to survive. Almost 40,000 Pollock were hatched from 140,000 artificially fertilized eggs. They've successfully grown to the 0.7 centimeter mark. The Korean government started its research in 2014 to restore Pollock numbers on the country's eastern coast, where they've been dwindling. But the project failed as the second, also artificially bred generation, died. This time, however, the government has raised them successfully as researchers found the right water temperature and food. The government plans to give out this technology to fish farmers and enable mass farming by 2018. It'll also apply it to other types of fish on the verge of extinction. We'll continue our research to develop the same type of technology for other expensive types of fish, like saw-edge perch and yellowtail amberjack. The new development is likely to lift the hopes of consumers, Pollock being a local favorite, as the imported fish is now five times as expensive as Pollock found locally. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.